Hi, Paul, and welcome back to EntrepreneurCast. It's so great to have you back on the show. Thank you, Svetlana, and thank you, everybody. Looking forward to another good session today. Definitely. So, Paul, today we are, as promised last week, uh, we're going to you know, tackle into those challenges that people come across, you know, and all these objections that people come up with. Uh, and one of the objections that we discussed last week was um, people not being sure how much to charge uh, for the services, you know, not being able to bring the prices up and you know providing tons of value for too little money so how how do we deal with that you know how, how do we you know uh, de <laughs> deal with that challenge so first thing is let's just set the scene okay um, we we first of all have to look at that let's recap on last week we have we have created a statement which is um, I call it the rooftop sales mantra. Yes, it's it's our identity. Okay, it's our identity in terms of what we are going to change and transform in the life of the other person. Yeah. So let's say it's a coach. Okay, I'm sure in your community you've got loads of coaches, life coaches, relationship coaches, business coaches. I mean, the list probably goes on. Yes, am I right in saying Definitely. that? Definitely. Health coaches, so let, you name them. <laughs> so let's say it's coaching. You know, so um, so the, uh, the coaching question, let's call the coach Jenny, right? Jenny has created a fantastic uh, rooftop sales mantra, which is, you know, um, and she is a spiritual coach, okay? So, um, you know, she, she, her, her uh, mantra is, look, after, um, you know, I'm so passionate about reconnecting you. I'm doing this off the cuff, okay? Yeah. I'm so passionate with reconnecting you with your true identity, with who you are at source, um, with bringing you into the present moment so that you feel no stress, anxiety. Life is fuller. You know, I'm so much, I'm so uh, um, committed to doing that that over seven sessions what I will do is I will re first of all we will remove low self-esteem and we will replace it with this and we will you know reconnect you to source uh, and to your true identity we'll remind you of the energy that you had as a kid and we'll be well you'll be able to recreate that naturally you know we'll we'll be it will we'll teach you how to quiet them quiet the monkey mind so that you can have a feeling of space and and you can be more innovative and creative and you know there's a list isn't there yeah mm. and at the end of that she says now you know um could that be of value to you would you know anybody who who, who that could be of value to and the other person says well yeah, oh, i'd love to have that in my life you know um and of course then then jenny would say well fantastic look here's here's what we do Let's get together on a Skype or let's meet for a coffee for an initial chat and let me just learn a little bit about how you feel right now. Tell me, you know, in complete confidence um, how it was, how it's built up, where you are now, what, how you're feeling and how, how that's a problem, yeah, and how you want to feel, yeah? yeah, and then I'll be able to tell you whether I feel I can, I can do it and achieve it 100%, not 90%, not 80%, 100%. And then if, if, if I feel I can absolutely do it for you and give you the transformations you want so you can be feeling really good about life again and connected spiritually to others and to, 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 to source and to yourself, you know, if I feel I can do that, then what I'll do is I'll take you through how I would do it and let's work out what you think that would be worth to you. Mm. Yeah. And at that point, we'll work out what you think it's worth to you, yeah. And I'll take you through the various options I can, I, 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 I can, we can do, and the various costs, and compare the cost with the value. And you tell me whether any of them appeal, yeah, mm. uh, and whether it's like, yep, yeah, definitely want to go for, for the full, you know, for 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 this or for this or for this or none of them appeal and thanks very much but I'm gonna you know leave it for now how does that sound and what's the client gonna say probably will say okay let's have a look at it yeah because <laughs> you're giving you're giving them a get-out clause you're saying yeah. you know you know you, or you can do nothing 
and you've then got at least you've got the information we know each other we can keep in touch uh, and you can come back when you're ready so they've got the get out clause so we make the appointments and we've made them in there we've had the, the rooftop sales mantra right the statements this power statement this impact statements of our identity is about all of the things we can do that will happen for them afterwards mm. yeah now let's just draw time on that we could Jenny okay so I'm Jenny um, the spiritual coach so what I could do you know this is now about me thinking about my value so what I could do is I could say right I wonder what should I charge you know well firstly I could have a look online and see what other spiritual coaches charge mm. Yeah? yeah, and I could say, well, you know, the world famous ones, you know, like you know Deepak Chopra, you know, I, I can't charge what he charges because he's just untouchable, you know, and I'm, I'm clearly that's just not even uh, worth considering, um, you know. But I, I don't want to come across as some kind of lunatic either and charge nothing or give it all away for free. But maybe I have to do a first session for free. Mm. Yes. Mm. or an initial consultation for free um, maybe I, I need to do that but uh, so you know they look on the net and they look at all the different prices and it's like well a lot of a lot, what a lot of coaches will do is say well I, I'd be uncomfortable asking that price you know 3,995 oh, I'd, I'd be really uncomfortable asking that price but 197 oh, I'd be really comfortable asking that price yes do you sound familiar mm. So it's kind of like that, or they just come up with a number. They have a paradigm in their own mind of what they feel they are worth. Mm. Yes. And very often, this kind of having a look on the internet at what other spiritual coaches charge and uh, or, or thinking in their own mind about what am I worth is way, it bears no relation to what their true value is. Yes. Mm. I mean, for instance, if somebody has you know if somebody has lost connection you know we're talking about a very niche thing here you know I've, I've chosen an example of a spiritual coach but everyone listening can apply it to their to, to their thing but we're talking about something special where you know when somebody is in spiritual health yes mm -hmm. they are connected with the world they are connected with others they are connected with themselves or the source or whatever belief they have as what the higher power is yes mm. whether it's whether it's a higher power uh, uh, you know some godhead or whether it's nature or whether it's you know whatever it is they they've lost that connection and when they've lost that connection it's actually it's a serious problem to somebody who is is a spiritual person this is not something, you know, this is serious, okay? It, 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 it affects every area of their life. From when they open their eyes in the morning, if they're feeling unconnected, they're feeling isolated, you know, um, it's like they're a fragment. It's like they're an isolated fragment, they're not connected. So the confidence of going out and meeting people and spreading their energy and doing their stuff in the world and doing their job of work or doing it whether it's employed or, or their entrepreneurial job of work if they're not spiritually connected if they're not feeling connected they won't be effective their self-esteem will hit the floor man just making sense to Svetlana mm. so how, how do they uh, why do you say that they've lost their connection well that's what why somebody would go to a spiritual coach ah you mean the client right yes so the client has that's what's I'm, so I'm talking about value now mm -hmm. you know if they've like if the client has lost that connection right then it's it's costing them pretty much in the way they feel from morning to night yeah it's costing them everything self-esteem everything it is taught that they're constantly thinking about it it is the biggest problem for them in their world mm. consequently the value of solving that is a lot more than 197 quid right mm. now it also might be worth five thousand pounds to them if we cure it forever mm. yes 
and we yeah. give them techniques and we give them so techniques and regular calls and regular contact and regular sessions and follow up uh, uh, coaching and there's also things they can do for themselves each day and in the moment which will reconnect them and you know there's a there's a product here that will enable them to reconnect at a moment's notice and they've got the, the coach in Jenny in the corner all the time they feel safe suddenly they're reconnected they feel that their life their life has been saved they're, they're alive again that's worth thousands to them so yeah. our coach needs to consider this yes yeah before they think about the pricing yeah yeah mm -hmm. now then there's other things to be considered so it's well who's my clients who am I attracting are my clients um, you know, are they uh, are they celebrities? Because if they are, they're going to be prepared to pay thousands, mm. tens of thousands. Or are my clients people like me? You know, um, Jenny, who set up a coaching business, having left mm. her, her corporate job of twenty years, and now wants to start her own business. Then maybe it is going to be hundreds. Maybe the course is going to be several hundred pounds over several weeks yeah mm, mm. you with me yeah but we don't know what it's worth until we start speaking to somebody mm. okay so the first thing we've got to do is we have to when we get into our sales process we sit down for a coffee with the client or we've got them on Skype is we need to say right tell me about what your pain is tell me about what your problems are tell me with you know with absolute sincerity in complete confidence how you're suffering mm. yeah and then they shut up and listen and they make notes and they probe and how else does that affect you and how else does that affect you and how else does that affect you and they make a great big list and how else yes and, and I understand and how else does that affect you in your life yeah I can remember when I was like that so they're empathizing and then they say well how much what would you say the cost is to you of that no, the financial cost, the emotional cost. When you've got a, then a great big list of things they're suffering from, you say, look, let me ask you a, 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 a really sincere and frank and open question. What is all this costing you in your life right now, both in financial terms, because of your inability to perform, to perform full of spirit and at your optimum level what people love you for for your inability to be their person what's it costing you financially each week and what's it costing you in emotional currency yeah. and you get the client to put a value on it does that make sense yeah and then you get the client to put a value on it a financial value if you do nothing about this if you leave this as it is I mean how long has this been going on look Jenny, it's been going on for months now. So I've been suffering in silence. I go to my meditation classes. I don't really speak to anyone about it. I've got best friends. I don't even tell them. You know, it's 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 eating me up inside. Okay, so what is it worth to you to solve this once and for all? You know, what's it costing? What's it worth? What's the value? And we need to get them to value it. We need to get the client to give it a valuation. Mm. Yes? Yeah. Now, that client in this instance will give us a valuation and they'll say, well, it's worth, <laughs> I can't put a price on it. It's worth thousands. I pay anything for it. Yes? Yeah. And then Jenny's going to say, well, I'm delighted to tell you, it isn't going to cost you thousands. It isn't going to cost you everything. Okay, but what we do need to work out is how over a period of weeks together we can work on each of these challenges and we can dissolve them. Mm. And we can either dissolve them live in our sessions together or we can give you techniques to dissolve them when they arise in your daily life or both. Yes? Yeah. Now what I propose we do is I propose we do this and then they outline the program over whatever it is five weeks seven weeks 12 weeks 90 days whatever their program is so then they tell then they tell a story a future based story saying um, on our first call together or at our first meeting together yes we will deal with your self-esteem all right whatever it is on the list we'll say let's rank them as what's the most urgent to what's the least urgent right first one we'll deal with this 
And by the end of that session, you will leave feeling like this and with the strategy to be able to do this, this and this each day and to reproduce that feeling when your self-esteem dips. How does that sound? Oh, amazing. Right. In session two, in session three, and we go through a story cell of what will happen after each session and how they will feel after it. And then the strategies they will be left with to be able to reproduce those feelings. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the program, you, you story cell, right. Once we have completed those seven sessions together, relative to your list of things that you're suffering with now, here is where it will be. Here's reality now. Here is where the reality will be after the seven sessions. You will no longer feel like this. Instead, you will feel like this, and you will have strategies to replicate it when it, 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 it goes slightly. They then go through that, and they say, what's that worth to you? Oh, it sounds amazing. And then what they do is, is Jenny then produces uh, two or three video testimonials of other clients to really add impact. Yes? And she'll say, look, let me show you other th uh, video testimonials, just a minute each, of three people exactly like you in terms of the pro ch problems they felt, how they felt, and how before and after. And they show three video testimonials. Not ten, two or three. Yes? Mm -hmm. Or written testimonials. Video is much better because of the emotion, the energy. And that Jenny is thinking, well, it's true. Yes? Mm. It's credible. I want it. Yeah? And then uh, the client is thinking that. And then Jenny says, right, so tell me now, in all sincerity, what do you think this is worth to you in your life? Well, I don't know. What are your options? And then she starts with her options. Right. To do it completely, and we start with the most expensive option. And we work our way down. Usually three. Three is the magic number for packages. Yes? Yeah. Three is the magic number. Trying to do this in 15 minutes is really difficult, but at least if I'm giving your your listeners now some structure, we can embellish on it in future episodes, right? They've got they've got you know a, a package which is a couple of thousand, then they've got a package which is around a, around a thousand, maybe a nine nine seven, and then they've got something very basic, but that still begins the process, which is a 400, 500 pound. Yes. Mm. Three options. And they all sound good. Most people will go for the middle one. Yeah? Yeah. Now, those prices need to be based on what works financially for Jenny. Mm. So that if she does seven hours over seven weeks, that works for her financially. Yeah? Yeah. It needs to be affordable to the client. Yes, yeah, so... They need to. Ha there needs to be, even at the most expensive level, it needs to be okay. Well, it's it's four. It's five thousand pounds to have the you know, the whole thing, the, the the full spiritual package, whatever it is. Yes, but I can accept that in installments. All we need to do now is to take a deposit of this. They need to make it easy for them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now then, if any objections come up. Any objections whatsoever, what we need, and, and I'll, I'll kind of close on this, okay? When any objections come up, we need to be saying, look, let's, let's call the client Svetlana, right? Jenny says, Svetlana, tell me, please, sincerely, is the value there for you? Mm. Yes. It sounds to me like the value might not be there for you. We're talking about a 997 package. You're telling me about the agony this is causing in your life. Please tell me, is the value there for you? Or are you saying to me to come up with 997 here and now is a little difficult? Please be frank with me, Svetlana. Mm. And then shut up. <laughs> then they're going to get the answer. No, 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 it's worth it. Of course it's worth it. I just can't give you a thousand pounds now. Okay, I, I appreciate that. So you are happy with the 997? Of course I am. Great. How would you like to do it? Would you like to pay as you go or whatever the case may be? Then we get into that. Yes? Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, that's what they do to start with. Until whilst they've got like, you know, hardly any clients or two or three clients and their diary is full of space. Yes? Mm. Once they start filling up and they're thinking, right, now I've got like seven, eight clients and most of my day I'm on the phone and I don't have much time and I'm full. Yes? Yeah. And they start putting their prices up. Yeah. 
The 497 becomes 997. The 997 becomes 2997. The 4997 becomes 6999 or whatever it is. I'm not an expert on this, but I kind of am in a way. This is the kind of way I, 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 you know, I, I've structured many, many things in many businesses in the past. So you raise your prices when, when the, the demand is greater. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions on anything I've been through there? Is there anything that you feel I've, I, I've suggested that's not right? Let's say you put, uh, like you start getting more clients on certain price and then you put up your prices um, and then you start getting less clients because now it's not as affordable to people. Um, how, how do you deal with that? Do you repackage? What, you a, fan oh, what a fantastic problem. <laughs> <laughs> what a, but let's say you do that, yeah? yeah, and that will happen if done correctly with a whole load of other strategy that will happen, okay? So then what you're in a position to do is to advertise a promotion yeah. with a real reason. There has to be a very credible reason for this promotion, not just Easter sale on, on, on spiritual packages, you know, that none of that nonsense. It has to be something very special. Potentially, it depends on where you're getting your leads from as well. Yes, because if none of these people know each other and they're all from different towns, it really doesn't matter. Mm. But if people do know each other and there's a community, and somebody finds out that they bought it for six for nine nine seven, and now that you know, um, that could be an issue. But they they put promotions on. Alternatively, from the start. The three options have prices that are are higher, and then they discount it. But that discounting and the process of discounting and verbally explaining discounts is another session. We need to have a separate session on that <laughs> because you can lose your credibility by saying, "Well, yeah. it's usually nine nine seven, but for you today, I'm doing it at four nine seven. It's that's not you can't do that. It's not believable. It needs to be set up earlier." And, and it needs to be a seed. But I can show you um, and your listeners in future episodes how to do that. So how to set your prices now as if you were full, mm. yes? Yes. And have the offer for this month, this week, whatever, for these, this community or whatever, set at the, those prices. That way you, you have things to play with and remain credible. But we do need to discuss discounting as a session in itself. Make That's sense? Fantastic. That sounds great, Paul. <laughs> okay. What I'd invite is, you know, as always, um, if you want to see this in, a, in the context of a full sales presentation, go to um, isalesguru.com. Get the app. It is free, right? Um, I'm selling nothing on it. isalesguru.com. Get the app. The second video on the app is a one-hour talk live talk and a meetup where i'm going through the full sales process and all of this is built into it so you can go there and get that and watch that video and you can stop start you can even get the transcript off youtube you know you can pick out the bits you like and design your own so it's there brilliant well thank you so much for this week's episode paul it's been fantastic and i really look forward to our next episode my pleasure and me too. Thank you and thank you to everyone who's listening. Please feel free to reach out as you have been on email, through Sviatlana, through the app or whatever. And as you know, I'll always answer and we'll always get back to you with really helpful killer suggestions.